Alrighty guys, Vio here coming at you with the first episode of a series that I used to do on my old channel. Uh, it's called the DMA series. So basically what I'm going to do is get a defender, a midfielder and an attacker between, it used to be 150. Uh, I'm going to go up to 5,000 to try and get some better players. Uh, so it's going to be between 5,000 and 10,000 in buy now. So hopefully we get some decent players. This is probably going to end up in 10,000 and 50, but what can you do? So we'll get it up. I uh, can't actually do anything about that. Oh, there you go. 10,000. Fixed it. Alright, so I'm going to go silver just to stick with this. I like, you know, getting new silvers and stuff. So the defender we get, let's have a look. Hopefully we get some decent players. Oh, we get Kurt Zuma, and he's an absolute beast. So you can't really go wrong with Kurt Zuma. Uh, if you've never seen Kurt Zuma before, he's a, he plays for San Edian. He's a, a really... San Edian, I think? Yeah, San Edian. He's a really highly prized young uh, defender. 73 pace, 75 defending, 78 heading, and he's only really, really young. As you can see, they're born in 94, so he's very, very young. Uh, so we'll move up, and we'll get the midfielder. Um, uh, yeah, as I said, I used to do this at 150 by now as a start price, but I got really bad players and stuff like that, or I could get some. So we'll hopefully get some better players. Now, we get a right forward, so that's going to be interesting. Sean Wright Phillips was a right forward. I've never used Sean Wright Phillips in FIFA 13. Uh, right forward means I might have to convert him back to a right mid, depending on how this hybrid goes. Uh, but we'll store him in the club. Uh, he plays for QPR, who have actually been relegated now, but he's got 70 shooting. I didn't think his shooting was going to be that high. Uh, I think he's only got three-star skills, though. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, they're only three-star skills, but blistering pace. So it'll be good to see how Sean Wright Phillips goes. And we'll get the forward, and then after we get the forward, I'll take you to the... Uh, to the squad builder screen, we'll show you the actual squad that we do make. The good thing about this, uh, as I've said in, in on my previous channel, is you've got to get um, uh, Giovanni Sierra is an absolute beast as well. So that's really exciting. You've got to get you've got to build hybrids pretty much. You, it's hardly ever you get players in the three leagues or three nations and stuff that are all the same. So you're pretty much forced to build a hybrid. That's what's so good about it. Uh, Giovanni Sierra is an absolute boss. Uh, plays in the league. Uh, uh, same as Kurt Zimmer, I think, so a little bit less of a... I might make it a Ivory, Ivory Coast hybrid, just to make it more of a hybrid. But we'll store him in the club, and we'll get to the match screen, uh, to the squad builder screen, and I'll show you the hybrid squad we made. Alrighty, guys, so here's the squad we built around those three players. So we've got, in goal, we have uh, Ruffier. Uh, normally, I want to just, you know, keep the, a, a full silver squad, but I wanted a goalkeeper just to shore up the defense. And Kurt Zuma was the first player we got. So we'll chuck him straight in. And linking up with Kurt Zuma, uh, with the uh, actual perfect chemistry, is Bryson. Uh, Bryson has three-star skills, 75 pace, goes okay. And Ruffier, just, you know, solid stats all around. And the other players we had, so we had Sean Wright Phillips. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, swallowing as I go. I put him as a right mid, just to... I wanted to play a 4 one 2 one 2 a different formation that I haven't really used too much. And the other striker is going to be, uh, the other striker we picked up is Co, and he actually goes on this side. Uh, so he gets to cut in on, on from the right onto his left foot, so he's absolutely amazing. So the rest of this team is going to be the other centre-back. Uh, the rest of it's actually going to be all, you know, full silver. The, the centre-back, right-back, centre-offensive mid are all going to be from QPR. So we've got uh, Anuaha, uh, Anton Ferdinand, and the centre-offensive mid is going to be Genus. And so that's the, the perfect links, the QPR England links that we're going to have. There. That's their hybrid bit. Then we've got the uh, the French Saint Etienne links for the left back, centre back, and keeper. So exciting stuff as well. And the left mid is going to be Suma Horo. He's got four star skills, really quick, rocket of a hit, uh, and he's going to link up fairly well with Syriac. Both of those guys play play in the Belgian league. Uh, Syriac's got three star skills, 89 pace, 70 shot, absolutely amazing. And then the centre attacking mid is going to be this guy Sagbo, and Sagbo now plays I think for Hull. Uh, he's absolutely amazing in this game. Beautiful long shots. So that is the team we're going to be using. We'll get on to the goals and talk a little bit more about the players. Alrighty guys, so here we go with the gameplay and we'll start off talking about the team as always. We'll go from the back and in goal, Ruffier. Now this guy is an absolute boss. I really enjoyed playing with him. He, uh, he stopped most of the shots. Uh, he stopped all the things that he needed to, uh, like you would expect from a goalkeeper. And he uh, he didn't really stuff up that much, so I definitely recommend him. I was tempted to get his inform, I think he's got one, but uh, I didn't have the coins at that point, so I just decided against it. And uh, yeah, just played his normal and it worked out fine. So if you ever need a, a normal keeper, just try him out. And uh, at the left back, Bryson was actually really good. Uh, he wasn't, I don't know, he was, he's only a non-rare, so you can't expect amazing things from him. I wouldn't use him going forward, he's only got like 50-something shooting. 
But uh, he's, you know, defending is okay. He's strong enough on the ball. He can win some tackles. So he'll just, you know, he'll do the job there. And uh, Zuma's amazing. Zuma and Ferdinand as the centre-back combination is absolutely... It's just freaky. Like, Ferdinand, to me, personally, is probably one of the best silver centre-backs in the game. Him and Kuyate are absolutely amazing. And uh, I definitely recommend Ferdinand and Zuma. Like, they're just absolutely beastly. You're not really going to concede any, you know... Those through balls, as long as you can defend properly, you can pull a player back and watch those through balls. They're not going to get a through ball over the top. Uh, they're just too quick. They're too strong. They're just absolutely amazing. And then Anuaha looks really tall in game. I didn't actually check his height. He looks really tall, though. And um, he was fairly good as well. He, he felt quicker than his pace said. So uh, I'd try him out if you haven't used him before. And uh, we'll go forward. And we've got Genus as a center defensive mid now. Genus is a boss. He's... Uh, he's Shooting's very good. He's got, you know, some rockets on him. He can hit a ball. And as you saw in the first couple of goals, he's got uh, some very nice ball control. So he can dribble just around a couple of defenders. And, and his finesse shots are fairly good as well. i got a couple of good finesse finishes with him. Uh, definitely worth trying out. But I really think one of the stars of the show was Sean Wright Phillips. And uh, his goals were just before absolutely rockets. Like, I really enjoy... I used to normally just always love having, like, a, a right-footed player on the left and a left-footed player on the right for your wingers. So they can cut in and finesse shot. But that really doesn't matter too much in FIFA 13. Because the finesse shot is just not as overpowered as it was in FIFA 12. And uh, just really... I've really enjoyed bombing down the wings with the... Say the right person, right footed player on the right. Like Wright Phillips and like... Uh, I can't remember the player in the in the last squad booter I did. But um, like that as well. I think that was Marco Sau. And just, you know, either shooting at the near post. Which is actually overpowered in FIFA 13. Or rocketing across the keeper. Which makes it look really good. I love those across the keeper finishes. And uh, Wright Phillips was absolutely beasty at him. So definitely try out a Wright Phillips. And Sumahoro was exactly the same. Left footed on the left side. Uh, rocket of a hit. Four star skills. Wright Phillips only has a three. But absolutely amazing. And then you get up to Sagbo. And Sagbo's long shots as you saw just before. Were absolutely amazing. He's a... Uh, they just, they're just rockets, and they find the top corner and time and time again. They're so good. And then the front pairing of uh, Sio and Syriac. Now, these guys are just freaks. Like, honestly, in this team, I would recommend everyone except probably maybe Bryson. He was average. Uh, I'd use him again if I needed to build a hybrid squad around him. I needed, needed him there for chemistry or something like that. He wasn't terribly bad, but if you're going out for, you know, silver left-backs, there's probably some better players in the League One or just as French silver left-backs. But this team, apart from that, I'd use every single player again. They're that good. Um, even Anuaha, he was just felt really strong on the ball. A little bit better than Bryson did. And then these finishes by Syriac and Co. Like if you get them through, they are home. Like there is no doubt about it. They the ball is in the back of the net every single time. Uh, they've both got you know, 89, 90 pace, something like that. And they've both got 70 shooting, from what I remember as well. So. Uh, they just go. Like, look at the pace on these boys. They're just absolutely ridiculous. And their finishing is just world-class. Like, they have rockets of hits on them. And they are just, yeah, just absolutely amazing. So, uh, that's all I have to say pretty much about this team. I'd recommend everyone except maybe the left-back. Uh, but coming up, I've got a couple of... I'm going to be doing some more DMAs just because they're really fun. They force you to build hybrids. They're really exciting. And I think they're a series that not a lot of people do. Uh, I haven't really seen anyone do it before. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll do a couple more before the end of FIFA 13 and continue them in FIFA 14 as well. And uh, I've got a couple of... If you haven't seen the Road to Commander, I've got a Black Ops 2 Road to Commander series that I've started up on the channel with Goosey. And the first episode's gone up, and it was really exciting. I uh, really... It was one of the most exciting... Most excited that I've been about a video, just because it's something different, and it's a lot of fun. It's like... I'll be honest, like, not a lot of effort really goes into it. A little bit of editing, and pretty much it's all just like a let's play live comm type thing. But it's really fun, and uh, I'm really excited about it. So, this is the last goal coming up. Watch out for, for some more squad builders and some more Road to Commander. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Vio, and a peace.